hope you're all well. So the first thing that I need to go in and do is ungroup everything and this will separate all of my individual pieces. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to hide my layers that I don't want to work with at the moment. So I'm just going to hide my crown and then my two stars and also my horn. Now if it's separate pieces like this it will still be all together so you can just click the one eye icon and it will hide itself. So I'm then left with these four pieces here and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to weld them together and they will then cut as one continuous piece. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide that and I'm then going to bring my horn back up and again I'm going to weld this. I'm going to hide that and I'm then going to bring back my two black ears and again I'm going to highlight those and weld them and then finally I'm going to bring back my eyelashes I'm going to hide my ears I'm going to highlight my lashes and again I'm going to weld those so you can see that I've brought all my layers back now so the first layer I want to work with is my two ears so again I'm just going to go through and hide everything else I'm just going to go and grab a shape and today I want a star and I'm going to reduce it right down and then I'm going to duplicate it and this will give us an exact copy of our star. Once I've placed my two stars where I want them I'm going to highlight them and I'm going to weld them and I'm then going to go in and highlight again and I'm going to duplicate them. One two, three, four, five times and then I'm just going to move my duplicated copies out of the way. I'm then going to go in, highlight both my stars and my ears and I'm going to weld them together and this will keep them as one continuous cut layer. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to then grab two more stars and I'm just going to place them on top of my pre-existing black stars. Then I'm going to hide my ears and my black stars and I'm then going to bring up my pink layer and again I'm going to go in, I'm going to highlight all and I'm going to weld them. Once again I'm going to get another set of stars and place those on top of my pre-existing pink stars. I'm then going to hide my pink layer and I'm going to bring up my horn. Again I'm going to go in and weld those all together. With my eyelashes and my stars I don't want to use my registration marks all the way up here. So I'm going to go and grab a, another little star and I'm going to reduce it down and I'm just going to place it here in the middle. I'm going to click on my star and duplicate it and then I'm going to hide my two yellow stars. I'm then going to highlight my eyelashes and this star and I'm going to weld them and then I'm going to add back in my two yellow stars and I'm going to place this star here I'm then going to hide my eyelashes and I can then weld this layer together. I'm then going to completely highlight the whole of my image and I'm then able to size it. Once I'm happy with my sizing I'm then able to go to make it and you can see I've got all my layers down here and I'm simply going to go to continue I'm going to select the maker today because that's the machine that's on. Between each layer I need to make sure that I continue to change my cut setting depending on the vinyl that I'm using. 
So when layering, you've got two options. You can either individually layer everything onto your surface, or you can layer it all onto your transfer tape first, and then onto your surface. I prefer layering it all on my transfer tape first. The only thing with that is you have to remember that you're going to start with your top layer and work backwards, whereas if you're putting it on your surface, you're going to start with your bottom layer and move upwards. So I'm going to lay my transfer tape down and I've got it sticky side up and this is going to make it easier for me. So my first layer, my top layer, is my crown. So I'm just going to come in and place that there. And I'm then going to go in with my scraper and just start transferring it. So my next layer is my unicorn horn, so I'm going to put it on my table and then I'm going to bring my transfer tape down onto it so that my stars meet up. And I can then go in and use my scraper. So again, I'm going to just place my transfer tape over and I'm going to meet my stars up. And I can then lay my transfer tape onto my vinyl. Again, I'm going to go in with my scraper. 